Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today is a collaboration with my friend Debbie Knockblau. I believe that's how she pronounces her last name. In German, it would be Knoblauch, but I think she says Knockblau, or I think that's how her family pronounces their last name. So, um, as you guys might or may or may not know, Debbie is actually Danielle Gerstenberger's cousin, and that is how she and I met, and we became very good friends, and I absolutely love her. And then she decided to start her own channel, so I hope that you guys will definitely go check her out, subscribe to her channel, show her some love, and let her know that I sent you. I'm going to have her channel linked in the cards above and also in the description box down below. And both of us are huge horror movie fans, so we are going to be doing a horror movie inspired makeup look. And that can mean whatever we want it to. It can be a costumey look. It can just be a makeup look inspired by the movie. So um, basically at this time, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to insert a photo. So the movie that I chose was The Conjuring Part 2. Um, but the reason why I chose it was not the movie as a whole, but one of the characters that was introduced in that movie. And that was the character of the nun. Um, Valak, I believe was the character's name and it scared the ever living crap out of me. So, um, I'm going to count down and then I'm going to insert a photo of the nun and you could choose to look at it or not. It is terrifying to me. Um, I had a hard time even looking at photos to research for <clears throat> this, uh, makeup collab. So three, two, one. Okay, now that you have seen what the nun looks like, let me know down below if you think she's as terrifying as I do. Let me know if you've seen the movie. Um, I'm going to do a look that is going to be, I don't know, just a very dark look inspired by the character, I guess is the best way to describe it. So um, that is what I want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of my MAC paint stick mainly because as you can see my eyelids are very pink and that is from the Morphe palette that I did a look with. Um, you have not seen that? You may or may not have seen that look already. I don't know when it's going up but if it is up already I will link it. If not then it's coming. But it definitely stained my eyelids even more so than um, most pink eyeshadows. So what can you do? But yeah, so that character, I have a hard time even looking at that character. And then they made a movie based on just that character, which I was done for after that. I, I actually tried to watch it and it actually wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So I'm just taking the, um, NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencil in I almost said in milk, but clearly no, in black bean. And I'm just gonna put that all over. This is gonna be a very messy, this is not gonna be the kind of look that anybody is really gonna wanna wear. Um, and I know it's not Halloween yet, but that's why it's not gonna be like a full costume look, but it's just gonna be somewhere in between. So we'll see where it takes us. And then I'm going to take this, I don't think that's going to blend it out. Uh, I need something. No, I don't want that. And there went that brush. Okay. So I'm just going to blend that out. So basically, as you could tell, she had a pale face and very dark black around the eyes. This can be messy because we're putting eyeshadow over it. In case anybody wants to recreate it, which I doubt. But I have always loved scary movies. And I get very scared by them. Don't don't let the fact that I like watching them fool you and make you think that oh I'm not scared by anything. No no no. After watching, was it The Ring or The Grudge? I don't think, like, every time I went to wash my face for literally weeks after, 
I was terrified that the girl was going to come up behind me and get me. It wasn't really, but every time I would go to wash my face, I would think about it, and then I would open my eyes with, like, soap in them. And it was terrible. And most people would be like, well, why do you do that to yourself then, Anya? And good question. But I just, I've just always, ooh, just got it in my eye. I've just always loved watching horror movies. And I don't know why. I also love true crime shows and stuff like that. <clears throat> oh, this is looking real cute. But that is one of the many things that Debbie and I have in common. So I thought it was awesome when she suggested doing a look inspired by one of or of our scariest horror movie that we could think of. I originally thought about Jaws just because I think I've told you guys this before, but my babysitter told me that sharks could come in through the bathtub and the pool drain and I was terrified. I believed her wholeheartedly for the longest time. I was like five, like four or five. And then now clearly I know that that's not the case. I'm just going in with a black eyeshadow. And yeah, I know that that's clearly not the case now, but I've still never loved taking baths because of it. But watching the movie Jaws now doesn't really scare me. So. I actually really like watching shark movies. And I like watching Shark Week. So I'm literally just starting to look like I have on a superhero mask. But we'll clean it up. Goodness, the heat just turned off. Can get noisy sometimes. What are you guys doing this weekend? We are going to be watching Game of Thrones tomorrow. I'm so sad that the show is ending. I'm not even caught up on the existing episodes. I'm planning on trying to catch up for tomorrow when we go over there. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna clean this up a little. But really I am, just a little. And I do not expect at all to look exactly like her. I don't have a nun costume. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to look exactly like the character, but just to make it look inspired by it. Okay, now I'm gonna take a silvery shade and I'm just gonna put that up here, like a silvery gray shade. Just to kind of blend that out more. Blend that out more. Ah, who am I kidding? And then we'll go back in with the black again. supposed to go watch the season or series finale at a friend's house and that's always fun I love doing that we've watched the last I don't even know how many seasons together so it's tradition that actually wouldn't be such a terrible look if <laughs> if I hadn't gone up so high or down so low. 
like if you wanted to actually do it as like a smoky eye. Yeah, smoky eye. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. All right, now we're gonna go in with our foundation. Hello, I'm like, where's my foundation? <clears throat> I'm gonna use this NARS matte velvet something. It's a, I don't know, a matte skin tint. And I'm just gonna just put that all over. It doesn't matter, we're gonna put the white powder from Jeffree Star over top of it. I also don't want this to look smooth and gorgeous because uh, if you saw the picture of the nun, the skin is not smooth or gorgeous. So I'm just, I'm not trying to like be specific about like buffing it out properly or anything like that. gonna get messy because of how low I took that black shade but that's okay it can look weird and messy all right now we're gonna take the Jeffree Star translucent is what he calls it I call it um, paper white because it's literally white and it will, in my opinion, make your skin white. I mean, it definitely brightens it up. So I'm just slapping that all over. We're going to be kind of pale today more pale than usual. At first I was gonna do just like a pretty like black smoky eye with like blue in the inner corner for the icy blue eyes. <laughs> and then I was like, well, maybe I should do something a little bit more scary. There's so much powder flying everywhere. Mm. And that cotton candy scent is definitely there. Okay, now we're going to take... I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go into a gray-ish, blackish eyeshadow. contour why did it go on like perfectly smooth on that side and patchy as all heck on this side hmm. weird I need to remove some of that white powder now. See how much more pale that makes me? That is not translucent, in my opinion. Okay. I am not a contourer. Like I'm not good at contouring, but from what I could see in the photo, her pit, her nose was kind of just crazy looking, A, and B, just very, like, dusty. I'm 
put a little around the forehead. This looks crazy. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's grab a pencil brush and go back into the black and whatever was removed from the foundation. And then you're going to do concealer. That's okay. We need sunken in eyes for this anyway, or like eye bags. easy makeup look if you wanted to do it and then put on and then a habit right what it's called I'm using the same black bean shade I wiped it off and then I'm going in with this dark, like purpley shade from Maybelline in the shade. It's actually a really pretty color. Normally it's called Organize Originator. I was like organizer. Again, I'm not supposed to look exactly like her. I don't think I look anything like her. What? I tried. I think she's much scarier than I am. It just looks like I have a dirty nose. Okay. <clears throat> So, let's lock in this beautiful look. And <clears throat> put on some mascara. Should I even put on mascara? I don't even know. I'm not gonna do brows because she doesn't even have any eyebrows. Today is the one day that it doesn't matter that I just got black underneath my eyes from my mascara. All right. So this is my crazy makeup look inspired by Valak the Nun from The Conjuring 2, which scared the absolute crap out of me. I cannot wait to see the look that Debbie created because I guarantee it's going to be better than mine. Um, but to me, that character just is really, really scary. And to me, the things that stood out were the stark white face and the dark black circled eyes. So that's what I did. So... Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, please go check out Debbie and subscribe to her channel. She is awesome, and I know that you guys will absolutely love her. And thank you, Debbie, for collabing with me. I love you, and I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.